So like I said in the last video, we have this issue that, you know, the breadth first search, it's good, but it may take us quite some time because we have to explore all moves one step at a time. And then we have the depth first search, which unfortunately could lead down rabbit holes, but we may get into sort of non-optimal solutions. And so to sort of introduce a, another type of search to you, I'm introducing something called the iterative deepening search. Now, if we sort of look at the terminology, is it complete? Yes. Again, just like the breadth first search, if a solution exists, it will be able to find it. Optimality. Well, one of the things that we're doing with that, that big fancy $5 word here, iterative, is we're sort of mimicking the behavior of one step at a time. And so, yes, we can still get uh, the shortest path. And we actually do so in a slightly shorter time than we would with either breadth first or depth first by themselves. Okay, so what is iterative deepening search? The entire idea is we are going to do, do, oh, that's a terrible way to write that, do depth first search with a limit on number of moves. That's it in a nutshell. We are simply going to say that just do DFS, but you're only allowed to make, say, one step or three steps, and that's it. And if you can't find the solution in that many times, we'll get there. So again, what we do is we actually start at a limit of zero. What we're essentially saying here, again, with limit zero is how many moves can I make? All right, well, the limit of zero is simply saying, all right, given my starting location, am I at my goal? And let's arbitrarily say again, uh, you can sort of see here, is my goal, my goal is going to be E, goal. So again, when we're dealing with iterative deepening search, we're looking at this limit zero and saying, well, am I at the goal? A. No, no, I want to be at E. So what do I do? Well, rather than concluding that the search is frivolous, what I'm going to do is increment that limit by one. What one means is, again, I'm allowed to have one step in my DFS. And so when we think about that one step, all right, well, again, I'm at my starting point of A, and again, I'm going to do depth for search. So I look at B because that is a connection. All right, well, once again, I ask that question. Am I at my goal? No. So, all right, well, you could think about it like uh, I had one move available. Here's my one move. True. All right, well, again, I ask myself, am I at the goal? No. So again, we're still doing DFS, but now with one step. So since we have exhausted this pathway, we're going to once again backtrack. Oh, I have one step available again. So, all right, well, does A have other pathways? Yes, it does. It has a pathway to C. Let's check that pathway. Am I at my goal? Well, no, again, my goal is E. Uh, so again, we've not found our solution at this point. Let's backtrack again. Oh, I have one more move I can do. Do I have any other possible routes? No. Oh, okay, well, what do we do? We are simply going to increment limit again. And so now when we are, do our DFSs, we get two steps. So again, I have two moves from A. I'm going to take my first move to B. That was one move. I get one move left. All right, well, where can I go? I'm, I have a pathway I can take, so let me take it. D. Again, that was my last move. I'm a, at a dead end, effectively. So what am I going to do? I'm going to backtrack. I get one move. Does B have any other routes? No, it doesn't. So I backtrack again. Oh, well, A, I have two possible moves. A has potential pathways I can go. Let me go down them. So uh, here's my first move down to C. I'm going to do my second move to F. No, oh, darn. Well, again, I'm at a dead end. I backtrack 
to A. I have new two moves, but I have no spaces left to go. I have not found my goal one more time. And so one more time, I'm not gonna write it out, but one more time I increment by one. And so once again, we're going to see this in action. So I'm going to go to A, I go to, uh, start from A to B to D to E. I see that E is my goal. And so how did I get there? Well, from E, I had to go to D. From D, I had to go to B. Or from, to get to D, I had to come from B. To get to B, I had to come from A. And so I can see that this a to B would be my first step along the way. So just as a sort of group exercise, I'm going to work through sort of the iterative deepening search so you can sort of see this in action. So my first one, again, I'll work off of that limit of zero just to illustrate it. Congratulations, we're done. No, we, we clearly know that this is not going to be helpful, so I have to do it again. So this time I've incremented, and I'll change my color back. I'm going to increment that my limit is equal to 1. I get to make one step. Well, again, from A, I see that I can go to B. And that's my one step. So I backtrack to A. So I backtrack to A. I see A has another pathway. So I'm going to go from A to C. Again, I'm still not at my goal of G. So I backtrack back to A. A has no more pathways, so I'm at a dead end again. What do you know? We got to increment to two. Now, for my sake, I am going to erase it one more time because uh, just for our you know, drawings perspective. So again, now we're at a limit of two. Again, we're starting at A. I have my first move going to B. All right, B has a uh, pathway that it can take, and I have one move available, so I'm going to take that D pathway. All right, well, D wasn't my goal, so what do you know? I'm out of moves as well, so I backtrack to B. Backtrack to B. B has no other pathway, so I'm out of moves effectively. Backtrack to A. I got two moves left. I can go to C. Now, notice C has two possible pathways. When we refer to that idea I've said in a, a previous video of I'm not going to traverse previously traverse nodes, what I was actually referring to is in a pathway. So again, this route was a pathway. This next route, let me change colors again. This A to C to D This is a completely separate pathway. So yes, I'm going to traverse uh, D again. But notice sort of where this is coming from. When I was traversing B, I didn't go you know, to A, right? I didn't do this. We, that was what we were referring to when I'm not going to pr traverse previously traverse nodes. A was where I came from or is one of my ancestors, so I'm not going to do it. That, you know, just to sort of refresh your brains on that, but just to move aside for a second, let me scribble that out. D, again, didn't have the pathway, so I go back to C. C has another route that I could go, which is E. E isn't there, so again, I've got to backtrack from E to C because I only got two moves. Uh, C has no other path, so I backtrack to A. I get, I have two potential moves, but I'm out of moves. So again, I have not found my goal. So all I'm going to do is increment my limit by three. So that final time, one last time around the block, I've got my limit equal to three. I start at my A node. I can go down to my B node. I can go from my B node to my D node. And again, now this is a, an interesting point because I get three moves. Uh, here was one, here was two. I get my third move from D. D has two routes. I could either go to C. Well, C 
didn't work out for me. It's a dead end. So I backtrack. D can go to E. E is still a dead end, so I backtrack. D has no other moves that I can do, so I backtrack to B. B has no other moves, so I backtrack to A. A, I have three moves I can do, so I go down to C. C is another pathway. C has two possible routes. I can go down the D route. Again, we're doing depth first search, so we have to carry it all the way through. And D has two possible routes that it can work off of. It could either go B, and again, that didn't work out for us, so we backtrack, and it can go E. And then just like we saw in the other pathway, well, E didn't work out for us either, so we backtrack. D has no other moves, so we go back to C, and we go to E. All right, well, E happens to have three possible routes that it can work off of. I'm going to do them in alphabetical order just because it's a learning uh, exercise. But again, you know, that's an arbitrary choice on my sake. So again, this was move one, move two, move three. I check D. D didn't work, so I'm going to backtrack to E. E has another move. It could take F. Well, F is again the dead, uh, dead end, so it backtracks to E. And then finally, I get to G. In our case, G is the goal. And I've reached my goal with a limit of three.